Trout are delicious, but nobody likes eating bones. I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to have boneless fillets of trout meat the way I do it. Made easy. So first, you start with your trout by making a cut right behind the gills down to the backbone. Second, make a line underneath the skin all the way to the tail of the fish. This is just for your knife to follow. It makes it real easy. The first cut you make is the rib, break the rib cage on the fish down to the backbone all the way to the end of the tail by holding your knife at a 45 degree angle to the fish, cutting towards the end of the fish. And do not let your knife go deeper than the stripe there on the on these on these fish. If you go deeper, you're going to get into the um, cavity of the fish and you don't want that. So here we go. First cut down to the bone. Cut the ribs at a 45 degree angle to the tail of the fish. All in one motion. All the way out the end. And by the way, I'm using a really stiff knife for that. Second, I use a very flexible fillet knife and rock that big fillet right off the rib cage that goes down the fish by cutting towards the end of the tail. Your knife will follow the bones just like that. Stay out of that fish's cavity of the inside of that fish. You don't need to be in there. And then you take your knife and you cut the fillet away from the fish above the fins off the end of the tail. Then with your fillet, the only bones that are in it are the pin bones that you separated from the rib cage on the back there of the fish. To get those out, you make two cuts towards the head of the fish. First, cut under the pin bone, and your knife will follow them, by the way, going towards the head of the fish. Second, cut above that pin bone towards the head of the fish. Your knife will follow it again. And you do not want to cut all the way through your fillet. Leave the skin intact. Then simply all you got to do is rock that little piece of meat out that contains the pin bones. You're not going to eat that anyway. Separate it from the fish. Once you've done that, there is a pure boneless fillet off a trout and it was very easy. And that's how I do it.